And we're back in my truck. So uh, we got a VAV that's not cooling. And it's going to be this one here. So this is Tracer Summit. the, Or, I'm sorry, Tracer Synchrony. This is a uh, train's BA system. So uh, we're going to go ahead and find our VRV, or VAV, which is number 16. And she's going to load up here. So we have 100% fan, zero heat. Our airflow is 105 CFM. Our discharge is 71 degrees. So something's up with that because it's not calling for heat. So the valve on this guy, because it's a hydronic heat, is probably either leaking or stuck open. So we need to go and find this thing and see what's going on with that. So uh, here we go. <laughs> V. So currently, this is closed. Um, this is the return line. This is the supply line. So our return header is 73 degrees. So our return header is kind of warm, which is to be expected because a little bit of warm water is going through. It's just not flowing. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that this gets warmer. My other clamp battery died, of course, so. That's open. So I got a thermometer over there. We got one right here, and we have one on the supply side. So it's reading about 70 degrees on unit supply. So according to this, our source temp is 68.9, so it's off by two degrees. Our discharge 72.9. 73.2. Alright, so here's our IntelliPak. Its discharge temperature is at 69 degrees. So we're not losing any of that temperature. Our set point is actually set to 70. So it's pretty much at set point. So, yeah. so what we want to do is we want to make sure that we don't have any bleed over from this valve into there. Now, usually there's, this is this is basically our return side. This is our supply side. There's supposed to be a cutoff valve on this side, but I can't find one. Um, that runs into the main loop, which is that up there. So there's no valve here. It's probably, I think this is the unit that is the last part of the water system. So the next VAV before this one might have the valve there. So we have it in bypass. So basically water is going through here and back in see if that changes our temperature. So currently we're at uh, 80 and 73. And that coil, which is this side, this is the uh, return side. That's pretty much the same temperature as the air in there, which you can see it's 73 and 73. So I don't think we have any bleed of the hot water. I think the RTU's set point is just too high and when it needs to cool it's only supplying 70 degree air it's just not going to cool the space especially with all those windows so it might be just be a set point issue yeah so my unit supply temperature is 69 uh, six um, yeah 68.9 so pretty much 69 degrees so we have a three degree gain however this is a FTU so it's actually pulling in return air from this space so um, the return air temperature plus the um, supply temperature of air it's mixing together so that's why we're gaining three degrees the issue here is this set point so apparently this is not it's not set like that the unit will or the system will actually determine based on all the zones so it'll average out all of the zones and then change this periodically through the day. So I think there's a programming issue. The set point's too high. Um, we were watching this remotely yesterday and uh, this was set to like 73 degree air. So if you're trying to cool a space down to like 60 something and you have 73 degree discharge or, or supply air, it's just not gonna cool the space. So we're gonna have to go in there and reprogram something. Well, not us, but you know, train or whoever handles that. But I think there's a programming issue or some kind of set point issue with the RTU 
It's just the supply air is not cold enough. So I want to just make sure that this valve is functional. So we're going to go ahead and manually open it through the system. So we're in application and then we found the water valve. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, what I find comes with these issues with the um, with these VAV and telepack units. Unless it's a mechanical failure, most of the time it's going to be a programming problem. It's super annoying because we don't have access to it, so we can't go in there and change stuff. But we've been monitoring this unit for a while because that's not the only space that's having an issue. So basically, we've been finding that it's averaging out the set point of the temperature for the um, air handler to supply a warmer temperature than desired. So if you have a space that's, you know, 70 something degrees and you're pumping 73 degree air in there, it's just not going to cool it. It's basically like circulating. So what needs to happen, and, and especially like today, today it's 43 outside. And I'm looking here at the economizer, it's only 15%. It should be opened a lot more to let that cooler air in there to get that. Because um, I would like to see at least like in the 60s as far as the supply. Um, so I think that's pretty much our, our issue with this. Is um, Something's going on with the BA system and it's not, it's not setting the set point properly. It's just, it's too high. It needs to be lower. So anyway... Um, yeah, so that's why I came out here just to verify that we didn't have any bleed over of that valve, make sure there's no mechanical problems. And uh, we've tested the air valve, the fan motor's working, the water valve's working, it's not bleeding over. So now we know it's definitely a software problem. It's definitely a set point issue. So anyway, hopefully this helps you out. Um, I don't come across this stuff too often, um, but if I can, I'll try to put some more. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram, Facebook. And if you like the tools I use, visit my Amazon store and buy them. Thanks for watching.